Oh, snap. We're back, Jack. to the channel hopefully the audio is coming through i'm sitting on the tractor my assistant it's right there and i'm not gonna go in a long monologue about why is it that we've been not here we've been here where you been anyways life got crazy business got crazier and the drought from last spring it was horrible and it took all the desire to share what was happening at the farm with you away but we're back anyways we're about to um, feed the cows so come along This winter, we've been unrolling our hay in a little bit of a different fashion. We've put the um, Greg Judy bell and roller as a backup, and we're using this tractor bell and roller, which has made things a ton, a ton easier. So um, let me show you how, you how we do it.
Well, as you can see, the cows are doing very, very good. We're actually hoping that the majority of them should be expecting. They should be all bred. Our bull, where is our bull? Let's see where he's hiding. He should be hiding somewhere. Where do you see him? The kids have named him, what's his name? Jurassic. Jurassic, from Jurassic Park, because he's a big old boy. Right there, 005. And he's extremely, extremely friendly. Let me see if he allows, yeah? Let me give you a, a head rub. I know, I know. So, Jurassic, we believe, has done his job and has gotten all of these girls pregnant and so it should be a very active spring but the health of the herd is in very good conditions and the other thing i wanted to point out is as you can tell i am unrolling the crappiest hay mankind has ever witnessed this is bottom of the barrel hay and the reason for that is because at the beginning of the season, when the drought began, we procured 120 bales and we thought that the drought was going to go away. So we were not going to have to feed as much hay, but the drought just persisted and stayed with us. And we went through a lot of our hay much, much before what we expected it. And so we ran out of hay early in the winter, which made us go and procure very, very expensive hay and not the best quality, but we've been able to fix that. This is actually the last of this real crappy hay. As you can see, it's got a lot of weeds and it's not the best stuff, but we have some really good hay after this that we've been able to uh, procure. And so, that hopefully should help what we've been doing is alternating between the really good hay and the really crappy hay just so that the pallet doesn't get tired of this nasty crap and hopefully that should help with their health we've also been supplementing quite a bit with minerals and so on and so forth but anyways, for those of you that have been longtime subscribers of the channel, as I said, I know that we've been missing, and we apologize for that. It's not our intention to be missing. I think we are back, and we're back with some really good content. There's a lot of things happening in our lives that we, we actually wanna share with you, and so you're gonna see a lot of more equine content. We actually have a little project that we want to share with you coming up in our next video and a few other things so stick around if you have not yet subscribed we, we encourage you to give us a chance and subscribe and hopefully will be entertainment and some education mostly entertainment for you but anyways for now we're going to go and take care of the waters So it's kind of weird on this well the first 40 seconds of water are very clear and then for another 10 seconds we get this chunk of brown water kind of like dirty water it clears after the 10 seconds and then you can see just beautiful water it's weird but it works
talk about mineral. Um, the mineral that we use is Producers Pride. Um, we get it at our local tractor supply. Um, it's a good thing to supply vitamins and minerals to the, the cows so that their coat is nice and furry during the winter and nice and slick during the summer. Um, we really like it and the cows seem to enjoy it a bunch. Um, we also do bag mineral. I can't seem to remember what mineral. I do know it's wind and rain, the mineral that we use in bag. But yeah, we just supplement the bag with a block and they really seem to enjoy it. So yeah. So during the winter, especially when the cows are pregnant, we've noticed that their consumption of mineral has been off the chain and so we've done our best to make sure that every single day they're loaded with mineral to supplement the dry matter the dry hay so let's move it They truly love that stuff. It's one of those treats that is not awfully expensive. I want to say that each block is about 14, 17, maybe $20. I'm not sure that it reaches the $20. I'm more towards the $14. Um, chances are that by next week it will be $20 with the current inflation but anyways what I'm trying to get to is every week or so we put a new block and as you can see it's clearly something that they desire quite a bit because by tomorrow that thing will be a quarter gone in two days it will be a little bit more than half and by the end of the week you won't even see the trace of it It's incredible how long has it been since we last talked well since you guys disappeared and this thing is also a new addition to the farm and it has been a huge blessing to be quite honest she old not as old as the previous versions which are all gone they also disappeared but this has been very helpful in moving hay around the roller I give it how many stars would you give it from 1 to 10? 15. 15. Man, does it make life easy. Especially on those days that it's 20 degrees and frozen. Woo! It makes a heck of a difference. So, um, yeah, we're happy. We're happy with this thing. And whenever we leave it around here for a second, the cows think that is their new scratching pole because they go at it like crazy anyways we're about to head out of here but today's sunday and on sundays we pretty much spend the whole day doing animal stuff don't we we do so from here we will kind of button things up with the cows and where do we go next to the horses to the horses you know what let's let's have you stick around so i can do a brief introduction to the horses so we'll be right back
All right, so we are now at a different pasture. We are at our horse's pasture. And you guys want to do a quick intro to your horses? Sure. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Here we have their horses. Who's that walking this way, Eva? That is Copper. He is a three-year-old Palomino Pig. Hold on. What? That is Copper, okay. a three-year-old Palomino Pig. Okay, three-year-old Palomino Pig. And he kind of loves you, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he walks out. Hey, boy. Okay. He has had molasses lick. In his nose, all over his nose. <laughs> He's got molasses. And then, Ivan, you want to tell us who this guy is? This is Gunner. He's approximately 15 years old, but don't let the age get to you because he is like a bullet. He is super fast. What's his name again? Gunner. Oh. Um, he's my horse. And what kind of horse is he? He's a Palomino. Um, one thing I really like about him is that his socks are pretty much perfect. Can you explain what that means for the people that are not horse familiar? So if you see where his hooves are, um, you see that there's a separation between one color and the other. Usually the socks are white. And if Eva, if you could point out, see that where she's touching is white. And then right above that is Palomino, which is his color. And he has that on all fours. And they call that that he's chromed out. Almost like if he had real nice wheels on a car. He is chromed out. Now, that said, that said, there's something else that I really, really like about him. Yes. And I'm going to show you guys. This is not my horse. This is his horse. But I'm still going to take the liberty of showing you what's the part that I like the most about this horse. Well, the first thing that I truly like about him, can you help me with the gate? The, fir the first thing that I truly like about him is his coat. His hair is probably the softest horse hair that any horse can have. I mean, this thing is so, so soft. But here's the part that I really enjoy about him. If you see his eye is normal. Can you um can you get him to look the other way? But this side, he's got a blue eye. Hey Gunner, where are you going, man? I think he's camera shy. He's like, I'm gonna go get that molasses. He is camera shy too. So right here you can see that he's got a blue eye. Hi Gunner. Anyways. So these are the kids' horses, and we'll, there'll be a lot more to come on these guys because they compete, um, so on and so forth. So the point is, um, I just wanted to do a quick soft introduction to the horses, and we'll go into more detail about them in a future video. This is Copper. Copper is not the youngest of our horses. He's the second youngest, actually. The youngest will be this guy right here, who we've named Patron. Patron is my horse. Hi, baby boy. What's going on? Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Let me get one of those. Make sure that that gate is close, because if not, your baby boy is going to go for it. Here, Patron. Hey, baby boy. So Patron is actually two and a half. So he's about six months, maybe a year. Uh, he, he's, no, he's two and a half. He's two and a half, which makes Copper then three and change. Yeah. Because they're only... His birthday is May 2nd. They're sure. 11 months apart or so. Mm -hmm. um, and believe it or not, they're brothers. So Patron here is the youngest brother of copper right there can you get this gate for me yeah. and then last but not least maybe least is this guy right here 
buttons. Glass buttons. Max. Max, you want some? What you looking for? How are you? And Max is um, our oldest horse. <laughs> Not by much. But he's certainly the laziest. Um, this guy is very stubborn. Um, they say that horses grab onto their owner's um, characteristics. And this is my wife's horse, so that might say something. Uh-oh, I'm getting the, the looks. Anyways, um, <laughs> Patron here is a black horse. Mostly black horse. I'm, you pardon me, I'm crossing the gate. But anyways, um, Patron, as you can see, there's a huge size difference between Max and Patron, and that's mostly due to age. Horses grow up till about their fifth birthday. Um, and so this, this bad boy here is still in the process of growing. But the reason why we want it, what is the reason why we wanted younger horses? Um... We like younger horses because they last longer. We don't have to get rid of them sooner. Right. Um, originally, I had a horse that was a bay thoroughbred. Okay. We thought he was younger, but he turned out to be very old. So we sold him, and my father surprised me by getting this this little boy here. Um, not too long ago. Maybe two months ago, if that. Maybe, right. And I started training him, Miss so, Perry. So that's the reason why we want younger horses is because we get to train them the way we want them, right? Yep. So you were saying that Miss Carrie, who's Miss Carrie? Miss Carrie is our trainer at um, Summer's Painted Ponies. Okay. I would definitely recommend her. She's right. a very good trainer. Right. She's the reason that we can compete now or can even have horses now. Right. She's helping me train both of these guys. She has helped me immensely. If I didn't have her, I think these guys would turn out yeah, she's she's awesome people. Is yeah. what you're trying to say. We board her, we board them right here right now. Right, right now we're boarding them until yep. we're able to finish our horse barn. Right, mm -hmm. awesome. What's up, Patron? Anyways, guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick introduction to the the new addition additions mm -hmm. to the farm since we last talked. I know that this has been a little bit of a Longer video than normal. Um, we're trying to, as you can tell, step up our game and uh, do a couple of shots on different um, on different scenes and trying to move things around to help the channel grow. So if you would, please go ahead and subscribe, share, and like our video. If you like the video, please take the time. It helps a ton. If you give us a thumbs up, that let us know that you are glad that we're back. That lets us know that you want us to keep on building content. And that lets us know that you enjoyed the variety between the cows, the horses, and so on. So, with that said, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. We'll see you on the next one.